On Tuesday night, Russian fighters destroyed four unmanned AFU motorboats near Yevpatoria. The boats were destroyed by Russian Navy ships after discovering them near Lake Donoslav. In addition, the AFU again attacked Crimea with Mugen-5 airplane-type drones. All of them were intercepted by air defense units near Cape Tarkankut and Chornomorske and did not manage to cause any damage. The AFU shelled the village of Horodishche twice during the day, breaking a gas pipeline and damaging residential houses. Fortunately, civilian casualties and injuries were avoided. In the afternoon, the enemy attacked the village of Kozinka in the Grevoronsky urban district with a kamikaze drone. A local resident received a shrapnel wound and was given the necessary assistance. In the Solodar direction, there is fighting for tactical heights near Klishchivka. The situation in the area is shrewded in a fog of war, but it is known that the Russian armed forces have entrenched themselves in the previously occupied positions and are eliminating the enemy's manpower and equipment. On the southern flank of Avdivka, in the industrial zone near the Yasinuvata 2 station, Russian fighters again carried out a successful attack. Five buildings that had previously housed Ukrainian formations were taken in a swift attack. In addition, Russian servicemen began using RBK-500 cluster bombs in Avdivka. The new type of shells will help destroy the enemy's manpower even more successfully, which will facilitate a further offensive at the site. In the Orykiv sector, the enemy again attacked Russian positions several times in the direction of Robotyne and Verbov. After failing to achieve success and losing several pieces of equipment, the AFU retreated to their original positions. The AFU have once again become active in the landings near the village of Krinky. They managed to slightly expand their zone of control to the south and move fresh forces into the village.